Hey guys, in this tutorial we'll be creating an attack for our player. So we're going to make him do a frontal attack that's in the end going to be like a fire uh, AoE. But for now it's just going to fire a single object in whatever direction our character is facing. So we can get started real quick and check out the scripts we're going to be using. Um, in the AI minions code, what we're going to be adding is a new um, object tag to our on trigger enter for our minions. Now our other one was a uh, tower one trigger and I don't think I've showed you guys how to add a second one yet. You can just add it in just like that right below it. And this one we're going to be naming fire attack. That's going to be our new tag for our attack. So if it gets hit it'll destroy this. Later on we'll add some health to our enemies and give them health bars and stuff but for now we're just going to destroy them just to see if it works. Um, and then I made a new script called player attack. In here we're going to be creating a new prefab. This is the prefab we're going to be spawning. That's going to be for our attack, so the actual spell that goes across the screen and hits the enemy, that's the prefab we're going to be adding. Um, I added a button for attack 1. When this press, uh, it sends attack fire function going. I also added it if you press key down 1. So it activates uh, this script here. It'll instantiate fire attack prefab, that prefab we're going to be making. And it just grabs this transform position and this transform rotation, which you'll be dropping this code onto the player. So it's going to be <coughs> grabbing his uh, coordinates and stuff like that. So that's the basics for that. And then uh, fire attack, or for our fire attack, we're going to be giving it a speed for a float and then we're going to be doing this. This will just send it forward in whatever direction it spawned by how fast the uh, attack speed is. So that's pretty much all you need for scripts right now. Um, you're going to want to go and create a prefab for player fire attack and we can go check it out real quick in here. So pretty much I just made a box 5x5x5, five by five by five. you want to tag it as fire attack, go add a new tag for fire attack, and then you want to make this a trigger, and then you can change the fire attack speed, I changed mine to 1.5, I was balancing it out a little bit, but that's all you need for the prefab, uh, just go in here, uh, create prefab, and then once you have that prefab created, drag and drop that onto the prefab. Now what you're going to want to do is go to your player and drop player attacks and drag um, that player attack to this slot right here. So pretty much, yeah, it's all set up. If you wrote in all the code for the minion and such, um, so it should all work correctly. We'll go in here and check it out real quick. So normally, yeah, we can move and if we press attack, it'll send firing. If we face in a new direction, it'll send it firing. So we can also press 1 and fire while we're moving in any direction that we want. And this is a little overpowered, it's gonna wipe out probably all these guys, but we can watch this real quick. Bam! They're all gone. So in future tutorials we're going to add a cooldown for this using time instead of wait for seconds. And we're also going to be uh, limiting the distance or the amount of enemies it hits. So once it hits one enemy, it's going to destroy itself. And also it can only go a certain distance. And I would also like to make this an AoE attack. So maybe uh, maybe it creates like a trail of fire. So some, some of those pieces hang out there for a while. So if any enemies walk through it, they take damage. And also we are going to be adding player health bars, or minion health bars, and giving them health. So they can... Uh, they take longer to be killed. Also, we're going to be adding a way to when you press the uh, the uh, right mouse button, it will rotate the character towards the enemy and actually fire directly at the enemy. So when we're doing other attacks, maybe we want our attack to go directly to that enemy and hit them every single time. So stay tuned. We're going to be uh, finishing up this game and hopefully uh, implementing a lot more. We'll get the AI firing back at the player and dealing damage, and we'll get some buffs in there and different stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned.